Um, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us. Anil, we will need you to just um, open the camera for us. Okay, sure, just two six. Thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining us now. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, please just raise your hand um, if you'd like to kick us off um, and the CSAT 20 Challenge Prayer Match Press Conference. And we are joined by Neil Brand, who is the captain of the Momentum Multiply Titans. Who would like to kick us off? Uh, Morgan. Morning, thank you. Hi, Neil. Neil, Hi, uh, you guys are playing in that first semi final tomorrow night against the Lions, another Yuxke derby. And it has been quite a crazy competition if you take into account that going into those last few matches, pretty much six teams could have still reached it. So, as the defending champions, it must be quite a relief, but the job's not quite done yet. Uh, yeah, as you say, the job's definitely not done. Um... But yeah, I think we just hopefully we're peaking at the right time. Um, we've won three in a row now. Um, so yeah, um, as you said, could have been any one of the six teams, but we just pretty much saw every game as a final, and um, I think that kind of brought the best out of us. And just to follow up on that, the Lions finished at the top of the log. They've also been right up the right until the end, along with the Warriors. So you guys will definitely be up for a big one tomorrow night. Yes, for sure. The Lions. Um, has a very strong squad this year, uh, a lot of pro tier players. So, yeah, we're going to have to be at our best. And, um, yeah, I just think our, our bowling attack has really kicked now and everyone knows what their role is. So, um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be, be another great game. We've had two two last ball finishes against the Lions in the T20 comp this year. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure tomorrow might be another nail-biter. Uh, thanks, Morgan. Um, Zahia? How's it, Neil? Uh, just, you've obviously led South African in international cricket now. Just um, coming back to the Titans, how much does that help your leadership and in, in going into a into a knockout game in terms of just knowing that you've, you've played bigger games than that in terms of handling the pressure? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess uh, in New Zealand I learned um, a hell of a lot about myself and um, about, I guess, people in general and um, how to how to get the best out of them type of thing. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's another big game for the Titans. You know, I love playing for the Titans. So yeah, hopefully the, the experiences that I gained in, in New Zealand will help me to stay calm tomorrow. Um, yeah. Just to follow up on that, um, your, the Titans, they... You know, they found a way to get to the to the semifinal one stage. It didn't look like it was possible. Uh, is that the, you know, the blueprint of the Titans that they always find a way to get over the line, you know, even when they, their backs are against the wall? Yeah, you know, there were some some tough times uh, in this comp for us. Uh, we had a lot of, uh, we lost a lot of games by two runs or one run, I think, and then also a tight game. Um, So we were under pressure with about, I think, six games to go. So, as I said earlier, every game for us was a final, and yeah, I guess we just have to, we just had to find a way, and uh, we we drew a lot on ex on experienced guys like Lungi and Shama and David Wies has obviously been amazing for us. Um, so yeah, just having them in the change room has has helped everyone to to hopefully peak at the right time. And just lastly from my side, um, Rivaldo Mansumi is had a amazing season for the cricket now. White ball cricket. Mm. Just David, what's the difference that you've seen in him this season? And he's just uh, taking his game to a different level, and then, and also just something on the youngster Loandre. How he's, uh, how he's uh, managed to work to fight. Yeah, on Muni, I think, um, I think the the two years he spent at Northern Cape was really good for his game. Um, we all knew how good he was. I mean, I've, I've played with him since, yeah, since five or six years ago at the Titans, and then he obviously left, but. Yeah, I think the 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 experiences he gained there and 
just knowing his game really helped him. I mean, all we want from from Mooney is to use his flair. He's got so much talent. Um, so I mean, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully he can. He's he's done well against the Lions, so hopefully tomorrow night he can put on another show for us. Um, yeah, he scores in in unorthodox areas because his wrists are so good. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's been a massive player for us, and yeah, he's probably been one of the the players of the season for the Titans. And then on Luandre, yeah, obviously a youngster coming through. Um. Yeah, I guess he's he's found his feet now, and I think he can take a lot of confidence from the last knock against Province. Um, yeah, it's nice that he. I think in in the last few games he's he's kind of faltered after the power play. He got us a good start on the power play, and then kind of slowed down a bit. But in the last game, he really dominated, and that was kind of the message sent to him just to keep on going and take the bowlers on off the power play. Thank you. Thank you, Zahir. Um, do you have any more questions? Ongama? Um, thanks, Alu. Hey, Neil. Uh, I don't know if this question was, was asked already, uh, but mm -hmm. I'm interested to, to, to know, Neil, um, because you guys had uh, quite a bit of a um, um, in the competition, losing quite a number of games, um, conservative consecutive. You know, so, uh, what has been this um, you know, behind behind your 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 team's um comeback in the in the tournament to make them finals? Yeah, I think as I said, uh, I think just we knew every game was pretty much a final. We knew we couldn't lose again. Uh, then we'd be under a lot of pressure. So, um, I guess. Yeah, we've always the Titans always prided themselves to to step up in big games and yeah, every game was just was massive for us and we've kind of just kept that going and now we have a nice nice run of games that we've won. Um yeah, I guess also we had a lot of guys, um, someone like Lungi coming back from a long injury, so it took him a couple of games to to get back to that, that match tempo, but yeah, he's been amazing for us in that last two games. Um so really happy for him. All right. Uh, thanks, Ongamma. Um, do you have any questions before we close? Going once. All right. Uh, thanks, Mel. Thank you, everyone, Thank you for much. joining us this morning. Um, you can stay behind for Beyond, who will join shortly. Um, good morning, Bian. Please do you open the camera for us.
Is that all good? Yes, that's good. Uh, thank you. All right. Um, who would like to kick us off? Thank you so much, Bian, for joining us this morning. Um, Zahir. As Bion, Aslam, uh, just uh, the the Lions, they are a squad that you know have so many players. Basically, the Galacticos of South African cricket. How do you manage to fit twenty five players into an eleven every week? That's uh, the biggest so, challenge for the Lions. Well, I'm sorry. Um, to be honest, that's that's the coach's job. Um, that's why he gets paid the big bucks. Um, yeah, but. Keeping the morale high in the squad, especially if, if guys are, are not playing regularly, is I reckon the biggest challenge. And it's it's something that I've sort of um tried to play a role in, in keeping that up as well. But like you said, we've got quality players all the way from one to maybe 17, 18 players. So it is quite tough. Um, but one thing that we maintained and one of the principles that we've um try to implement is that whoever's whoever comes in, the the standard doesn't drop. Um the expectations doesn't drop and fortunately for most of the season so far we've managed to do that. And and Bjorn, just a, a follow up the the batting unit seems to be a strength of the lines particularly. They um uh, like I said you can basically pick anybody there, but it took a while for the guys to get going and um they weren't really going and but now it seems like they've they found a bit of momentum, particularly at the top order. Is that a, a, obviously a good sign going into a semi-final that that all the batters are firing? Um, well, the standards that they set for themselves, they'll be the first ones to admit that there's still um, quite a bit left in the tank. There's still a couple of gears that they can go up into. So that's the exciting part. And I guess the frustrating part is that even though we've done fairly well this season, we haven't really played to our full potential yet. Um, and hopefully on Wednesday tomorrow evening that we can do that. Um, yeah. Bjorn, just a last one from me. The uh, you got a, a youngster bowling with you at the moment. Uh, the the leg spinner Nguala Peter. Just uh, tell us more about him and in terms of you also play with him at the Royals. Just this development from SA Twenty now through to this competition where he's, he seems to be finding his feet. Yeah, no, he's been he's been mentally important for us um, coming into the the last bit of the comp. Um, if you look at the if you looked at the makeup of the team, we we've, we've also sort of um, chopped and changed, and he's been on the receiving end of of a couple of chops here and there. But um, he's become mightily important for us and one of the most important cogs of our bowling attack at the moment. Um, he's got all the skills, all the tricks. Um, obviously, he's still young, and there's still certain things that he'll you'll need to learn and, and that sort of comes with experience and playing time and I'm sure that um, at the Lions will get all of that experience and playing time he needs to to become the complete bowler but like I said he's got a bright future um, all the tricks and there's nothing really stopping him from emulating some of the game's greats Thanks Bjorn That's from me well, Thanks Mahir Morgan Thanks. Hi, Bjorn. Uh, Bjorn, uh, knockout cricket's of course massive focus now with two games left in the comp or three games left in the comp. But we're also less than or just over a month away from the T20 World Cup. So how important is this opportunity to stake a claim at the squad going forward to New York and the West Indies or to the USA and the West Indies? Um, to be honest, it's I don't think it has that much of a of, I don't think it's that much of a deal breaker um, obviously you want to do well and uh, you want to win trophies for your domestic side but I mean that that team sort of picks itself and there's a couple of question marks here and there in my opinion but um, I don't think our domestic comp is, is a complete deal breaker for who goes and who doesn't All right. Um, thanks, Morgan. Do you have any questions from the floor? Can you so, Ongama? 
Ah, you on? Um, I'll be quick. Um, just tell me how important is it for you guys, especially the Lions, um, uh, this semi final in particular. I don't know whether the question's been asked. Um, just to to win the to get to the final and win a second trophy this season to back up um the good work that was done in the four day series. Yeah, to to win a second trophy, we first got to get to the final, and to get to the final, we've got to get through tomorrow night. So, um, there's still quite a bit of cricket to be played if everything goes to plan. Um, so the most important thing for us is there's there's a lot happening, um, in terms of planning, preparation, and and trying to get everything sorted for tomorrow. But when tomorrow comes, it's just about ball by ball and and play by play. Um, I think I mentioned it in a in an interview earlier in the week that. This is a it's an unpredictable format. It's an unpredictable game, and we've been on the on the other end of um, some unexpected results, if I can put it like that. Um, so we won't be taking anything for granted um, from starting today's preparation all the way through to tomorrow's game. Um, yeah, the Titans are obviously a a gun side all the way through, um, similar to us. So it should be an entertaining game. It should be a cracker of a game. Um, both games have, have gone to the last ball so far this season. So um I wouldn't be surprised, wouldn't if, be surprised if we have another tense affair again. Um thanks, Kanye so Do we have any more questions before we close? Yeah, I've got one or, or two. Um Alu. Um I hope you can hear me. Can hear me. Um, I've got a question. We're talking about we're talking about um, the, the strength of the team and um, you know, the idea of the side. I just want to know um from from you, Bjorn. Um, how have you how have you experienced just um being a leader of of, of such a quality side? You know? Um, and and just on on Naba Peter as well. You know, um, as a youngster coming in, you know, what 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 sort of role have you seen yourself that this this is the sort of role that I've that I have to play with this youngster coming into the side. Yeah, so I've been quite fortunate coming into a side that's that's won trophies. Um and I'm fortunate to be captaining a side that knows that to win trophies. So I wouldn't say the team sort of runs itself, but it's nice to be part of a setup where everyone knows what's expected of them and um barring a couple of younger players. Um, there's not a lot of guidance and and that sort of thing that's needed off the field. Um, everyone's professional enough to to know what's needed on the day and and leading up to games and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's something that's that's sort of been ingrained not only with this current team but it's all the all the Lions teams that I've been a part of is it's been built around winning. Um, I've been fortunate enough to come into a side that. That was winning at the time and and hopefully we can create that same culture for the youngsters coming in um and on on naba he's he's part of that culture now um you can see when he when he when he plays he's, he's one of those players that when he's doing well um he can take the game away from the opposition within the space of two or three overs and that's what we encourage guys to do is when you're having those good days you want to be the guy for the team I want to be the guy that's that's putting in man of the match performances and and sort of taking the the game away from the opposition and that's what he's done for us this season. Um, so yeah, he's got a bright future and hopefully hopefully a couple of us can give him the right guidance along the way. Yeah, and just lastly from me, um, um Bjorn, you you're talking about the quality of the side and 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 the fact that um, Titans also are a quality side, it's a side that 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 has won a lot of trophies before and they haven't won a trophy this season. You know, and 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 you guys are playing them at the finals, and we all know that um, whenever these two sides meet, it's always it's always always um, a very good game. But do you expect them to come a bit harder um, tomorrow? The fact that this this is their only chance to to win a trophy this season. Um, yeah, the the way that they want to play the game doesn't really phase us. Um, they've got quite a few weapons, but. Um, we know that we've got the quality that if we play top with potential, um, it might count sound a bit conceited, but it doesn't really matter what what sort of game plan they come with. Um, we've got enough skill and enough quality to sort of 
uh, nullify any sort of threat that they, they have. But again, like I said, it's an unpredictable game and on the day anything can happen. So the most important thing for us to do is to make sure that we nail our, our plans and, and execute what we want to do. And it's not really in our control how they want to play the game. And thanks, Ongama. Zahir? Kion, this is a bit of a left field question, but both, both games going to the last ball. Uh, I mean, have you guys been practicing super overs? Is that part of the, the preparation? Uh, I'd be lying yeah. if I said it was. Are you, and are you... uh, we, we don't really want the game to go to a super over. Well. Um, we don't really want the game to go to a super over, but. Um... Um, that, that that could be in the back of our minds, but like I said, if uh, we just focused on on controlling what we can control and um, staying true to our plans and and that sort of thing, so hopefully a super over is not part of the equation. Will you, will you put up your hand to bowl it though? Mm, depend depends on how I go in the day. Um, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a tough one. Uh, we had one way. Um, Quena bowled for us and he, and he bowled lovely um, in the game leading up to that. So sort of just made sense that, that he would be the guy to to do it for us. Um, yeah, could could the four on the day, could could be me, could be Cody, could be Delano, for all we know. Um, yeah. Thanks. Good luck tonight, tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us, Brian. Thanks, everyone, for joining us this morning. Uh, we will share um, the recording soon. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Alo. Okay.